And even till today, terrorists use this strategy to attack people. They will send fear and say, we are coming. We are coming. And by the time the people absorb the fear, they become incapacitated before the attack. They will never come until they inflict fear. That was what Goliath was doing. Goliath knew that he would not win an army until he did something to their minds. History is full of people, dictators, who have lived and died. They knew this as a formula for victory. That if I can penetrate your mind and plant a picture and enthrone that picture to be higher than anything, even without an attack, you will die. When David came, access to the truth starts by access to the word access to the ministry of the holy spirit and access to a teaching priest there is no kingdom program i know that is not dependent on finances hallelujah i have seen for myself as a man of god and as a leader the necessity of financial supplies you will not be poor if you don't believe it, allow your neighbor to receive in peace. You will not be poor. Yeah. Truly, silence is not fear. Silence is not fear. Let me tell you the truth. When mighty men are silent, it is wisdom walking. Ask Jesus. When they met Jesus and brought a woman who was caught in adultery, you would think because sometimes knowledge without wisdom makes you talk yourself even to failure. Silence. And he wrote on the ground. Maybe that's what Adam and Eve would have done if they were a little silent. The Bible says even a fool when he's silent is regarded. Silence can create perception. And he writes down. <laughs> and then he says, he who is without sin should cast the first stone. And that was the end of it. The degree to which the wisdom of God flows through your life, that is the degree to which the glory of God will be captured and revealed in your life. It is not every information about Jesus that translates to salvation. Believing Jesus came from God is not what saves you. No. No. There is an exact information. Believing Jesus was a good man does not give you salvation. <laughs> Believing Jesus lived a sinless life is true, but does not give you salvation. There is an exact information. The value of spiritual empowerment is to this end, that believers be fruitful. Are we together? That believers produce, that believers advance, that believers become objects of praise, that while serving the purposes of the kingdom, your life does not fail to capture and reveal the glory of God.